Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Bitcoin, the channel that breaks down the daily Twitter news, daily news. We've got memes, we've got a daily fail, we've got it all. Check us out, like and subscribe. All right, let's kick it off with the Clark Moody dashboard. So, block height of 649,996, price 10,690, chain rewrite days 514, and the total lightning capacity 1,110.52 BTC to finish out the week. Yeah. It's climbing right? up. It's climbing up. Go. It's climbing up, baby. It's climbing up. I like it. I like it. I like it. Phil, it's time for the daily fail. All right. So this was actually a tweet that put out by Hodlnot, which obviously he's not our daily fail, but it has to do with the CoinGeek conference. CoinGeek is one of the, uh, the arms of, uh, of BSV. And essentially, Gary V, you know, who's a uh, you know, pretty big uh, celebrity. Um, so he was asked to go speak at the CoinGeek conference, and he originally was going to. But then, you know, learning about the affinity scam that is BTC, he decided to pull out, which was good on his part because, you know, the, your reputation precedes you. And, you know, BSV is just a you know, a horrible scam. And uh, Prime Trust Co., which is actually kind of the back end of Swan Bitcoin, um, they were going to have somebody speak as well, a uh, gentleman uh, by the name of uh, Kevin uh, Litnitty, and he actually pulled out as well. And it was really sad because Calvin went out and, you know, uh, you pretty much tried to use this as ammo to say, look, you know, because of all these salty Bitcoiners, we're getting more signups than ever. Like, I highly doubt more people want to know about your affinity scam, you know, like, and it's just so funny because they get zero engagement and the, these people live in complete delusion. So, you know, the, Absolutely. the yeah. What's it? What's it? What's the, what's the, what's the lesson oh, today, Phil? The daily lesson is, is a very old one that we know very well. Craig Wright is not Satoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Never oh, yeah, gets old. Screw BSV, man. They are terrible. Never gets old. All right, guys. It's time for the Daily Meme Review. It's the Avengers. Nice. But with Bitcoin plebs. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's original. It's, it's original. It's short. It's sweet. It gets the message across. Drum roll, please. What are you going to give it, Phil? 8.5. 8.5. All right. And I'm going to give it a 7. What, why do you give it an 8.5, bro? That was too well, much. I, that was too much. It wasn't that great of a week. Wasn't that great? You didn't think? Okay, so I mean, I, I actually thought I was being kind of tough on it. Um, really? Because Why? yeah, because it, it had a lot of uh, it, it had a you know it had some good like memesters in it, like the people that were in there, you know, like Sweet Toshi and Bitcoin Meme Hub. Um, I, I like that it was the Avengers. It has to do with the symbolism, right, of superheroes. It's true. So. So th those are just aspects that, and the superhero archetype speaks deeply to, you know, to almost every human. It's, it's one of those things that's generally shared. So I agree with that. I agree with that. So that, That's why I gave it an 8.5. I agree with that. And Phil, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to, we're going to talk about the price discussion. Phil, man. This is getting very interesting, and I'll tell you guys why it's getting very interesting. The bot, the <laughs> there's a bunch of for the people that don't know technical analysis. The, the, these lines, these these green and orange lines, they represent the RSI. This dotted line on top, right, represent if at, at any time the, the the these lines go above that dotted line on top, it represents oversold. If it goes below these dotted lines on the bottom, it represents oversold so as you can see if you compare it to you know the run-ups you know this is going back all the way down to all the way back to 2016 if you compare it to the run-ups man it's pretty accurate this this uh this this technical indicator right and what you'll see here right so here is a bump right here 
and re perfectly represented by the RSI, you know, a little whatever, and then a little bump. But guess what? Guess what? The RSI is saying that Bitcoin is oversold, but it hasn't dumped. And that to me is extremely, extremely bullish. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about it. To, uh, uh, that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about it today because there wasn't that much volatility. But when I saw that RSI indicator, I was like, "Oof! It it, it looks it looks like uh, Bitcoin's ready to ready to blast off." At the end of the day, guys, we're dollar cost averages. We're dollar cost averagers. But you know, still that 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 technical indicator, man, you you can't ignore it. I I definitely. Um... I definitely think that that's bullish. I, I mean, look, you know, if nothing else, I, I, I think that we're going to go and try to test that 14 K. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that price action. Absolutely. A hundred percent. And it's time for the daily news sponsored by. All right. So, this is Square. This is Square. Crypto, also sponsored by Jack Dorsey's company Square, and man, they they're giving out a ton of grants. And what I love about this, Phil, is that it's this Bitcoin focused. So making Bitcoin more than an investment, it only talks about Bitcoin. This is the Kappa. Uh, this is the Kappa uh, Crypto Open Pat, uh, Patent Alliance that we we covered mm -hmm. earlier, right? Square Crypto Designer Grants. So. You know what? Look, they even they even touch upon Lightning, Bitcoin Design Community, Bitcoin Development Kit. This is purely, purely, purely. And look, you could apply for a grant right then and there. They're they're uh, you know they're 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 funding the Bitcoin Pay Server, which in my opinion, that is literally one of the best uh, projects in Bitcoin right now is Bitcoin Pay Server. So hey, you know what? Phil, perhaps we were a little bit wrong, man, in, in the sense that m maybe this this COPPA and Square and Jack Dorsey, you know, backing, uh, he says crypto, this says Bitcoin, perhaps it, perhaps it's a good thing, man. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to see still. I, I'm definitely pleased to see that there's, you know, so much Bitcoin focused material there. So that's great. But we'll, we'll definitely, uh, we'll have to see. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the next piece of news is is a little bit of a chisme. And chisme in, in Spanish means kind of like a little tabloid thing. But the reason I'm putting it in here is because oh, it's, it's, it's freaking hilarious. David Portney meets Pomp. We can. Bitcoin is just one big Ponzi scheme. You know, mind you, <laughs> you get it. He, he, quote, you get in and you just have to not be the one left holding the bag he clearly still does not understand bitcoin it's crazy at one point portney claimed he held 1.25 million dollars in bitcoin however just eight days into his crypto experience his his chain link <laughs> investment took a charm <laughs> which time portney announced i'm out of crypto because coins don't go, don't always go up so um man Pomp had him on the podcast. I'm gonna link that. I'm gonna link linked link that down below. I'm having a little a little bit of trouble speaking today. I'm, I'm exhausted, guys. I apologize about that. But man, I'm so happy to see David Portney get wrecked. It is hilarious. He's he's just such a character. He he really is, and he's just so funny. It's it, it, it's ridiculous that you know he gets totally shit coined by the Winklevi geniuses, you know, and uh, and. And, and then he just goes on to continue to make a fool of himself, which, hey, man, good for him. You know, he likes the attention. Well, there you go, man. You've got all the attention. Exactly. You got all the all the attention. Phil, it's it's there just was funny. A, yeah. It, because no, of the dude, landscape. Like, it, Bitcoin it, doesn't, like, Bitcoin doesn't care. It doesn't have all these artificial market breakers and stuff like that. It doesn't have all these things to save you. You know, it's like, yes, that's right. If you go take a look at the Dow Jones historical chart, yes, you know, the last hundred years is pretty much going up. So, Perhaps, absolutely, you know, absolutely. 
a hundred percent. It's 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 hilarious. It's hilarious. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, Phil, there is a there is a software release today. Why don't you tell us yes. about it? Software releases. All right, so today's software release is Nix Bitcoin version 0.0.17. Um, they added join market uh, client server, plug and play yield generator with uh, automatic wallet generation, uh, deprecate lightning charge and nanopose, um, BTC pay server, SQL lights, and I guess pro, uh, Postgres as well. So interesting. And they, what else, added a run dry option to push release script, which for the people that understand that, that matters to them. <laughs> right? So, I, like, what, I don't know that, what that means. But anyways, that guys, means, but... anyways, guys, for anyone that's interested, we will, we will put it down in the link description. Guys, I have a podcast coming out next week. It is with the comic, comic artists that developed a comic for, uh, citadel 21 volume four it's called 21ism you guys should go definitely check it out i actually read the comic and i put some cool music in the background with the artist it's a really cool experience i hope you guys yeah i hope you guys go check it out in the Bitball podcast and guys that wraps it up for the week guys i, I just want to thank you so much for supporting phil and i in in this in this experience we love delivering the news we, 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 we absolutely adore this and this would only be possible without support but from viewers like you catch you on the next one guys bye